Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 1999 New Holland TN65S that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions. I'll get up close to everything, show you everything that I see, tell you everything that I know. Then of course we'll fire it up, run it through its paces, let you hear the engine, show you the three point PTO, show you the pins up front. Show you the brakes are working good, let you hear the engine. As always, if you are in the market for a used tractor, a used piece of ag equipment, or a used piece of construction equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for machines find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 1999 New Holland TN65S cab heat air, four wheel drive. It's got the 33LA front loader with the skid steer mount quick attach. Does have super steer, eight speed, hydraulic shuttle shift, two rear remotes. Those are currently plugged in and running the loader. New front tires, 4,162 hours. So here in a little bit, we'll fire it up. Show you up here, these pins are, they've got a little bit of play in them. Nothing I wouldn't expect for a 4,000 hour 99 model machine, but not awful, but they definitely have a little play. As you'll see here, it's definitely been painted at some point. Kind of looking close here, there's you can kind of see two different shades of blue here on the loader. But everything's pretty darn straight here. No big dents or dinks to speak of. Just a few little spots where the paint's chipped off and peeled off. But pretty straight there. New front tires. Taking a look at the front rim on this side. That white paint's nice and bright. It does have some scratches here and there and some little nicks in the paint, scuffs here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary, nothing I wouldn't expect for a 99 model machine. Coming back here, looking at this rear fender, metal fender here, just a few little spots. Got a couple little nicks in the paint, but it's actually pretty straight. No big dents or dings. A little spot there. The back portion of this fender, these are plastic. And this one is kind of, I don't know how well you can see it there, but it's kind of bent down towards the tire just a little bit. Kind of right up here, somebody's added some LED lights. Rear tire, I'm gonna say we're at 40% plus on tread life left there. I think I'm being very fair. A Little bit of weather checking in some spots, a little spot there, a couple little spots here. This tire has a couple little spots you can see here with a little bit of a one and a half, two inch spot where there's a little chunk in that tread bar out. Sidewall again, just a little bit of weather checking there. They're all holding air. We haven't had to add air to any of them. Rear rim on this side looks pretty good. Again, got a few nicks and chips in the paint around the edge. A couple little spots right there, but overall pretty darn straight. Come around back, look at the three point arms. Draw bar looks good, 540 PTO. Has a newer style draw or newer looking PTO shield there. Like I said, two rear remotes, those are plugged in for the loader. Looking at everything back here on this axle, everything looks pretty good back here. Same thing over here. Top of the back of the cab looks good. This plastic piece on, the, on this side, bent just a little bit down, but not as bad as the other side. Looking at the rear tire on this side, it matches up really well to the other side. I'm gonna say it's pretty similar as far as tread life. Again, just a little bit of weather checking in some spots. I don't really notice any spots where this one has any gouges in those tread bars like we saw on that other side. Again, that white paint's fairly bright. This side probably has some more scratches than the other side does though. Kind of as you can see around the edge there, kind of got some scratches, more, more nicks in the paint. But fairly straight there. Taking a look at this fender on this side. Again, it's pretty straight. It does have some spots where the paint's chipped off and nothing out of the ordinary there, but no big dents or dings. Again, new front tire. Looking at the front rim on this side. Again, that white paint's pretty bright. A couple of little nicks here and there. A couple spots where the paint's chipped. Nothing out of the ordinary. Again, it is a 99 model. It does have one little spot. A little bit of a nick there in the rim. A little bit of a ding in it there, but 
pretty darn good looking at the loader arm on this side again as you can see has been repainted at some point no big dings or anything here that cylinder looks good pretty straight here looks like this loader stand this uh, these little ears that hold that loader stand look like they've been welded on this side but I don't see anything else I don't see anything else that's been welded or plated or patched just that little ear that holds that loader stand on same thing with the back of the skid steer mount plate there everything looks nice and straight there looks like a newer bucket pretty straight I'm not seeing any big bows or denser dings there a few little scratches here and there some of the paints chipped off but looking up here again nice and straight up here it does have some spots where the paints peeling or chipped off nothing out of the ordinary there again super steer which is awesome front black mesh up here is pretty good Headlights look good. Couple little scratches here in the hood. Get up a little closer. And it's got the spot here. It probably had a little silver emblem that's missing there, but Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. Okay, looking up here. A little bit of surface rust, just where some paint's chipped off and peeled off again. 99 model machine nothing I wouldn't expect there fins are pretty good on that cooler back there a couple spots right there where there's a few that are nicked they probably just from changing the battery they get bumped and but it is nice and dry radiator fins look pretty good there Let's see what we can see on top here underneath side of that hood I don't know if that's been added there I doubt that's factory but it's right next to the muffler so it could very well be kind of like a heat shroud kind of to protect the hood from any heat right where the muffler and exhaust are so that very well could be factory we'll go take a look on the side of the block here As you can see in here, pretty dry. I don't see any oil or diesel running down the side of the block anywhere. Back side of that front axle looks good on this side. We'll go to the other side and take a look, see what we can see over there. Again, nice and dry up here. I don't see any oil or diesel running down the side of the block. Axle looks good up here. We'll take a look inside the cab. All the glass looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any cracks or spider webbing anywhere. That steps in pretty good shape. Now the inside, as you'll see here, is a little more on the common side, if you will. Probably the most polite way to say it. Everything's good here. Clutch pedal's in good shape. The seat is mismatched. And the top cushion has a tear up there in the top part of it. Bottom cushion's good. Backrest has a little bit of a tear in it there. And these have like a foam padding, as you can see here, it's kind of, it goes around the fenders and that's what holds everything. And it's cracked in several places, kind of right here, that foam just gets hard and cracks. Another one there. Gear shift levers, your range. One, two, three, four. Rotor controls, your throttle. Down here, your brake pedals. Foot throttle down here. 
dash up here everything looks pretty good of course this is your hydraulic Ford reverse lever Forty-one hundred and sixty-two hours. At the time of this video, the AC is blowing cold. How you, well you can see it, but that headliner's got some dirt and dust and stuff. It's not pretty. The interior isn't gonna win any beauty contest. But the tractor does run good. Like I said, AC is blowing cold. Hydraulics are strong. Engine sounds good. All right, like I said, it's a 99 model TN65S. Lots of photos on our website. That's listed down below in the description. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'll shut that hood. We'll fire it up and we'll get right into an operational video.